Hey, I'm Randy with BBQ Guys. Today I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect steak. Now this method can be applied to basically any gas grill, but for this video I'm using my Weber Genesis 2 Special Edition. Let's get to it. Now I'll mainly be using the sear zone on the right side of this grill, but it's a good idea to get the whole grill hot so cold grids don't take away from that valuable heat. Go ahead and close the lid so we can retain as much heat as possible. We want this thing screaming hot to get a good sear. I picked up this beautiful bone-in ribeye from my favorite local butcher shop, Iverstein Farms. Ribeye is easily my favorite cut due to the fat content, which makes for a juicy steak. Before grilling, make sure you let your steak sit out for about 30 minutes to get the chill off of it. For the seasoning, simplicity is best. I really want to taste the beef itself. But you'll want to go a bit heavy on the kosher salt and black pepper because like in true steakhouses, this steak will be dunked in clarified butter before hitting the grill. A slight bit of seasoning may fall off. Don't sweat that. Make sure to season the whole steak, even the sides. And give it a good pat down so we hold on to as much seasoning as possible. Now just form it back up the best you can so it stays nice and uniform. Once your grill has gotten as hot as it's gonna get, it's time to get this bad boy on the grill. I like to keep the dunking dish close to the grill so I'm not making too much of a mess and losing all that good butter coating. Oh yeah. That's the searing sound we're looking for. This is about an inch and a half thick steak, giving it some good weight of its own to help it lay flat for good grid contact. But I also like to give it a couple of light presses with my tongs just to make sure. After about two minutes, go ahead and cross hatch your steak. I like to make my diamonds by turning at a 45 degree angle. Let it cruise for another two minutes on this side. If you like your steaks on the medium to mid-rare side, try to avoid thin cuts. With a steak this thick, you have plenty of time to get some good caramelization without having to worry about overcooking. Oh yeah, nice crust. Because we coated it so well in butter, we achieved some good color even between the grill grates. As you would expect, same thing on the second side. Two minutes, then cross hatch. Bringing us to about four minutes on each side for searing. To help us get closer to our target doneness and to prevent the steak from burning, I like to move it over low heat on the left while keeping the burners on the right still set to high. Let it cruise with the lid down for the rest of the cook. I'm shooting for medium rare. I'll pull it somewhere between 120 and 125 degrees. My favorite method to check for doneness is to get a good feel for the firmness of the steak. For medium rare, it will still have a good amount of give. It will be more firm the closer you get to mid well and well done. And like all meat, you'll want it to rest before slicing. I recommend about 10 minutes. All right, let's see what we got. Perfect. That's what it's all about. Time to give it a shot. That's good. Nice crust and perfect medium rare. Ribeye is definitely my favorite cut. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. And remember, at BBQGuys.com, we smoke the competition.